Unknown to many, this pretty hamlet can boast its own unique chapter in the history of aviation. Or Friedrichshaven is the home of Zeppelin. Zeppelin were once the world's leading producers and operators of rigid airships, which dominated air travel in the 1920s and 1930s. Based on their experience in using new state-of-the-art technology, Zeppelin are once again in the business of developing airships for commercial use. The design of the new airship, which is now in the prototype stage, is based on Zeppelin's rigid airframe principle. The new airship, however, will be a vast improvement on its predecessors. It will be environmentally friendly with its new reverse and adjustable vector engines, which will give improved speed and maneuverability. The airframe, built from carbon fiber and aluminum alloy, will also give increased safety with the control cabin being protected against hard landings by a huge airbag. The ship will use non-flammable helium as its lifting gas. It will also have all-weather, year-round flying capabilities. In the second part of this century, advances in aircraft technology far exceeded the achievements of those earlier airships. But the demands and necessities of today make the modern airship once again a meaningful proposition with a variety of applications. Apart from tourism and travel, the airship is also particularly effective for use as a silent surveillance. A silent flight over the landscape at low altitude is a unique experience. In 1897, the inventor David Schwartz created what was technically the world's first rigid airship. It was all aluminium, a way ahead of its time. The real father of the rigid was Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin, a retired German cavalry officer. Zeppelin served as an observer with the Federal Balloon Company during the American Civil War. Based on his experiences with balloons, he later conceived the idea of the rigid airship. Several balloons or gas cells afforded a compartmentation scheme similar to that used in surface ships to localize loss of buoyancy in the event of damage. The structure to hold the balloons, then as now, consisted of a series of transverse frames, longitudinal girders, bracing wires, and gas cell wires. The first practical rigid, the LZ-1, flew for the first time on July the 2nd, 1900. 